Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, February 2nd, 2024. I pray that the Lord will be with you today and may His face shine upon you and give you peace. Our reading today comes to us from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, reading verses 1 to 14. It says, Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant, how that all our fathers were under the cloud, and all passed through the sea. Verse 2, And were baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Verse 3, And did all eat the same spiritual meat. 4, And did all drink the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Verse 5, But with many of them God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. 6. Now these things were our examples, to the intent we should not lust after evil things, as they also lusted. Verse 7, Neither be ye idolaters, as were some of them, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink, and rose up to play. Verse 8, Neither let us commit fornication, as some of them committed, and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Verse 9, Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted, and were destroyed of serpents. Verse 10, Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured, and were destroyed of the destroyer. 11. Now all these things happen unto them for examples, and they are written for our admonition, upon whom the ends of the world are come. 12. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed, lest he fall. 13. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. 14 and last says, Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his word. And this is a reminder to us that God expects us to obey Him. We are to follow His precepts and we are to walk in the path that He has laid out for us. Now we are given a few highlighted reels from the experience of Israel. They ventured out of Egypt to the Canaan land, but it was not all well for them. It was not a good journey or a good experience for them in the sense that because of their disobedience, they spend more time in the desert than they were supposed to spend initially. And also with that, they suffered greatly because of their disobedience. And so here we are admonished by the writer that we must not be ignorant. We are not supposed to turn a blind eye. But we must understand that whatever happened, we are to take lessons from it to help us make good choices as we walk this Christian pathway. So we should not allow ourselves to make the same mistake that the Israelites did back then or our forefathers did. Because we have their examples to learn from. And that is what the writer is saying to us here. And as we notice, that not because they were traveling together to the Canaan land as a group and they were experiencing the same blessing under the same protection meant that they would be exempt from punishment if they slip up. Wrong is wrong in the sight of God. God expects unwavering obedience. So in the same breath, us going to church is not equal exemption from punishment when we slip up. It doesn't. 
And that is why we need to learn from their example so that we don't make the same mistake they made. And so being part of a church is not a guarantee that you are saved. And so we have to understand that it is important that we have a relationship with God for ourselves. We are, we are admonished that we should not follow what the Israelites did or we should not follow bad examples. Our forefathers made a lot of mistakes. We don't have to make them too. God was leading them. A pillar of cloud by day and the fire by night. He fed them. He protected them. So many blessings they received. And in all of that, they were ungrateful. They were disobedient. They were idolaters. They fell into apostasy. They did some vile things in the presence of God. And they bore the consequences for their actions. So we must take a page from their story so that we don't make the same mistake. We are told that we should not practice idolatry. We should stay away from fornication or adultery and we should not lust after these things. We should not lust after evil things. The Bible tells us that we should not lust. We are encouraged that we should be thankful. Stop the murmuring. Be content. Trust God to take care of our need. Trust God to take care of your need because he's there as a protector and a provider and his word is true. And if we want to remain under his protection, we have to keep in line. We can't do our own thing. We can't do our thing. Because if we decide to go our own way, it is going to lead to destruction. We are going to have to bear the consequences for our action. And so I encourage us this morning that we be careful, that we, we, we walk circumspect. Now, I know that there are times we experience different types of challenges, different types of temptation, different types of trials. We have our crosses, to, we have our crucibles that we are experiencing. But here we are also told by the word of God that God provide a way of escape for them all. He said that he will never give you more than you can bear. And pre-adventure, it is too much for you then he will provide a way of escape so that you can bear it. Isn't that a good God? So the preparation has already been made for you and for me. So there's no reason for us to step out of line to try to make our own way. No, because God already prepared the way. And so may we use these examples as a guide and a footnote to help us walk in the path of righteousness, to be faithful, to trust the Lord, and to live holy lives, especially in the time that we are living in. Let us be an example, a good example to those looking on. Let us represent in a positive way and let us walk in faithfulness and in truth because Jesus is coming back for a faithful people. And if you and I are faithful to the end, then we shall be safe. God bless you and have a wonderful rest of the day. Amen.